Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick one because I'm actually heading out to go to the beach on my day off as a form of self-care. Highly recommend if you have some form of nature around you, whatever it might be, even if it's just a little park, a little patch of grass. I've said that before in one of my videos, but I just stand by it. Thankfully, I live in a peninsula, <laughs> a state that's a peninsula, um, so we're surrounded by beaches. And even though it takes me a little while because I'm centralized, it is so, so so worth it every time I get there I feel grounded I feel at peace I feel closer to God so I recommend it but I wanted to get there early try to miss the crowds because summertime can get crazy but I figured I filmed an audition really fast and so I thought oh my gosh on the heels of that why don't I just do a real quick YouTube video so I found a word recently I was reading a magazine funnily enough about the 80s which if you know me is my favorite decade with the 60s falling so close behind and then the 70s after that, like I ranked decades because my old soul, <laughs> I'm stuck somewhere between like the 60s and the 80s leading into the 50s and 40s and 30s and then um, a little bit into the 90s. But definitely 20th century gal. And um, in it, it said the word prosaic, which I had never heard of before. So I looked it up. And so this is going to be the word of the week. <laughs> because I feel like this is the zeitgeist at the times so we're living in, and you can tell me what you think. So prosaic means to be uninspired, dull, unimaginative, just sort of plain and ordinary. And I was thinking, oh my goodness, this is how I feel about the 2020s, maybe like from like right before the pandemic, up until now at least, I feel like a a lot of things are so prosaic. They are so uninspired. I don't know about you, but um, when I try to listen to the radio, because all the time I'm always got um, YouTube music, which is basically like Spotify. And um, so I just listen to stuff like from the bygone eras. But if I try to listen to something today, like for example, I visited a friend in Atlanta recently and in the background while we were cooking and having fun was just uh, was just like music videos of the time and i'm like i don't know any of these artists oh my gosh and i would try to watch them and i just felt like it just they felt hollow to me and shallow to me and uninspired <laughs> prosaic um and i'm sure there are some I'm, I'm sure there are some artists right now that are making beautiful interesting music and please send them my way if you know of any but there's just something about that shallow feeling that just puts like this feeling in the pit of my stomach. Like, oh no, why? Because when I listen to older music, you can tell they had their reason and they were just something in their spirit was on fire. And they wrote these really interesting messages telling their stories. And there wasn't as much, I don't think there was as much pressure from like, record labels or maybe i'm sure there was in some cases depending on the artist and the time obviously um but all these other pressures right like social media and um their image which came around the 80s obviously with the um invention what am i trying to say there's a word i wanted to use not invention the introduction but it was a different word of the music video 1981 i believe um maybe 82. I just read about this and I already forgot. <laughs> um, and so it's not just music though, right? It's pervasive. I feel like there's a lot of areas, not just entertainment, although that's my love and my arena. I, I am an actress um, so and, and a musician, so it's near and dear to my heart and I, I hold it sacred and I just don't want it to be tainted. Um, but just in a lot of in a lot of areas, I feel like in the area of romance, it feels like a lot of people are just trying to maybe match up with somebody and get it done. And um, there's not this beautiful courtship and process. It's like we've lost the beauty of the process of things, which, gosh, I understand. I'm going to raise my hand. I'll be the first one to just want to rush into something. But I think there's beauty in that. And I think um, we're just losing that like magic. And you know it when you hear it, when you see it. That's why there's timeless artists like Mozart lasting hundreds of years, right? Or Shakespeare, because it wasn't just a run of the mill thing. It was a love, it was a passion, it was done with soul and heart. 
And I want to see a renaissance of that. And I don't know, maybe this is my call to the artist. Maybe this is a call to people in general, like do things with heart, do things with passion, do things with soul. Or maybe that's just my thing. And maybe that's just what I need to go forth and do. But to see, to live in a, a world, a prosaic world where people are just like zombies and they're just walking around doing their regular stuff every day feeling like lemmings like if you know that 90s video game i've referenced that before too where they just follow each other off a cliff i feel like that's what we do a lot of times we're just like oh what's looking around to see what somebody else is doing without going within and saying or talking to our god and saying our creator and saying what what did you purpose me for what is my special mission on earth because i think we all have purpose and we all have a mission here to complete um so something i've been doing lately is just putting sort of like these horse blinders on <laughs> metaphorically obviously i don't wear them around my house and try to not worry so much about what other people are doing or saying or what's cool right now or the trends because those just come and go and i just want to feel into okay what's real for me what's true for me what am i excited about what is my intuition leaning towards and for me a lot of it goes back to that old soul i can't get out of those older decades there's something so rich and beautiful i always watch old tv shows old movies when i when i do watch tv don't watch it very much at all but um i'll find older shows and there's just a rich quality to them i love don't get me wrong there's some great television shows now i believe but um don't really watch them because my intuition's just like guiding me that way so that's my thing i don't know what your thing is but that inspires me that gets me excited that gets me all jazzed up <laughs> um so i challenge you just as much as i'm challenging myself find what inspires you and let it set your soul on fire and just go do that thing maybe you're a writer maybe you're a painter um, maybe you don't do art at all maybe you're um i said this <laughs> i say a lot of same things in my videos um because it's part of my message, I guess, is to get you inspired and get you motivated to do what sets you ablaze and get you excited. So, yeah, I just want to fight against that. But it's like this pervasive, prosaic culture we're living in. And correct me if I'm wrong. If you're somewhere, maybe it's where I live. I've said that before in another video, too. Like, maybe I need to move. Um, but maybe there's a place where people are inspired and they're doing really cool things i would love to hear about that and this is a blanketed statement so don't get me wrong trust me um like i'm involved at the food pantry at my church very inspired that's inspiring to me to see it growing and to impacting lives and helping people in need it's so so beautiful so there are things there are pockets that i see where it's fighting against that um, feeling of dullness and sameness and it's um, it's reaching out and spreading light but yeah so word of the week is prosaic hey try maybe try to throw it out there it's a cool word uh, sounds close to prozac which is interesting right so the anti-depression depression medication um makes sense right because if it's dull and uninspired it's kind of along the the lines of depression um so maybe throw that around if you can this week. <laughs> I'm like Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> Prozac! They freak out <laughs> when there's a word of the day. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what I'm noticing. That's what's on my heart. And that's what my channel is doing, I think, now. is just kind of whatever's in my spirit to share with my audience. Um, so hopefully can find something that inspires you and just run with it whatever it might be it might be seeing a butterfly or a flower sometimes just little things in nature just whoop that's it and I'm off to the races and I've got a poem or um, a song or just something that I want to create yeah so I love you guys I hope everybody's doing amazingly I hope you're inspired by something today and every day whenever you watch this video and uh, I send you a big hug, so much love, and I'll see you next time. Bye, bye guys.